You, where you confess that you made up the COVID rules. I freaking told you so. The, the wound needs to be opened and it needs to be fully healed. It's time to drain the swan. <laughs> After Fauci gets destroyed, finally, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going live and we're going to be talking about Dr. Fauci. I was going to say Dr. Kevorkian. See him do it, even though it could get him charged with murder. You killed him. I did, but it could be manslaughter, not murder. <laughs> but we're, we're going to be talking about Dr. Fauci. In the same family tree there. Mr. Fauci, he gets destroyed. Yeah. And it was actually like music to my ears. It was just... I'm, I'm passionate about this, guys. For those who are watching, my name is Jacob. I'm the uncensored, unfiltered, tell it like it is, slap your mama, make some biscuits, and throw some gravy on it kind of preacher. And I'm Jeff Shirell, your leadership development coach and public speaker. So we are going to be talking about this, and we're going to be bringing up to light this, a lot of the things that a lot of us experienced. And I think MTG yes. in this video did an amazing job of, of going at it. She was ready to go with oh, yeah. the bullets loaded and ready to fire of all the things over the last few years that people have been taking and keeping record of yeah. and taking in okay. mind and being ready to express and show. And so she brought it out there. Which one of these things? And I'm with you. Like, I've moved on. I'm, I mean, we're living our life. We're thankfully we live here in Arizona where it's pretty, pretty free, but which one of these things that she bring up brings back the memories of the last four years for you? You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. Mm -hmm. And how did you, how do you feel about it? What's your story? What, how did you guys get through it? And when I saw this clip for the first time, it came out just the, just like a day yeah. or two ago. Yesterday. I thought it was a joke at first. I thought you were kidding. I thought it was a joke. I even wrote it down in my diary. <laughs> I, really? saw, I, I saw and I said, wait a minute, what? Uh, it, and then you see that because, you know, there's so many things that people can edit and, and uh -huh. Dr. Fauci's sitting there and all of a sudden this lady's coming at him and I didn't know who she was. And so you, once, been I, missing out, my friend. once I dug into it, I said the gloves are off in the first round. So he likes to bring an end to opponents in quick fashion. It's time to get in the ring. And uh, yeah, so it was it was pretty awesome. So I think what this is, this is an interesting situation. And this is it's just interesting to see how what how this is going to unfold, because it's like opening an old wound. I feel like the world has kind of moved on from the pandemic. And all the things that were, were we were forced to do, or, or people were was pushed upon you to to try to force you to do, and people moved on in life, and now this is kind of reopening the wound because maybe things haven't healed, or maybe there's still things that you're feeling inside of you. And these this video and these pictures brought some things up, and I was like, man, there's still something that needs to be worked on. It's kind of like a cavity when you go to the dentist. Even though you may not have any pain, mm -hmm. maybe maybe some time has gone by, but you got to drill before you fill. Ah, oh, that hurts. Wait, I'm not numb. Uh, shut up. Open wide. Here I come. <laughs> and it's <laughs> it's time to drain the swan. <laughs> and you know, and and the reason why I get so upset is because my for those who don't know, mm. my wife uh, is a nurse, and through when this whole thing happened, she was in the hot spots. She was a travel nurse. She was going to all these different places in California. And this was before the the jab, all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. And she's out there. You know, we didn't know what was really happening, but we had faith in God. Mm -hmm. And we said, you know what? God's going to keep us safe. And we were demonized because we believed that. Mm -hmm. We were demonized because we believe in healing yeah. and and the power of god and the power of his word and his promises and his promises and as my wife was out there working in these hot spots all of a sudden you know as months of this has gone by now we, she comes back home and her job tells her well if you don't get the jab now then you're you're gonna lose your job you can't come back to work she said wait a minute i just worked for months in the hottest spots uh of of this of this pandemic and now you're telling me i can't work unless i get this and i don't and, and we didn't fully agree with it because we it was so new yep we didn't uh the 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 science the none of it was there it wasn't real science it was mm -hmm. it was uh, <laughs> i just gotta say the science well, yeah explain that and, and and so 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 because we put t took a position that we weren't going to do this mm -hmm. um you made a decision we made a decision we were demonized 
by yeah. everybody. Yes. And I remember when all the churches shut down and everything, all the six feet distance, all this stuff was happening. I said, I'm going to go preach the gospel mm -hmm. at the at the park. And 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 that was and that wasn't okay for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh, it, it's yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah. So as you guys are watching and people are jumping on here, you know, jump in the comments. We can see your comments, and we'd love to get you involved um, and hear you know your story. You know, yeah. this is a chance to, to share your story, to share how you felt, um, either side. You know, because I think that this. The, the wound needs to be opened and we, needs to be fully healed. Yeah. And here's the thing, just like any challenge that you run into, anytime that you, someone's been, someone's wronged you or you've done wrong, you need to, you know, maturely and, you know, you know, man up or, or suck it up and maturely go back and be like, mm -hmm. all right, you know, I know that some things occurred over the last few years. Here's, and, and how do you do this, right? How do you go back and, and unpack this and heal old, old wounds that were, you know, yeah. caused by this, this tragedy. And for those who are watching that don't know, I am a preacher. And one of the things that, that is always brought up is, oh, you're a Christian, you got to forgive. And yes, we forgive, we forgive for ourselves, but I will tell people if we're going to move forward in a relationship, mm -hmm there's some things that happened that need to be addressed. Yeah. There's some boundaries that need to be set and we need to be on the same page before we move forward. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're not just going, I'm not just going to, I forgive you, but Hey, uh, we need to work on this. We need to make this mm -hmm. right. And, and for, to use a scripture that's in the Bible, Jesus said, if you got something against your brother, your brother got something against you, go make it right. And then come back to the altar and offer your gift. And so that's, that's why I believe this is a, this is a big deal. There, there was a lot of wrong that was committed. There was a lot of overreach. There was a lot of things that were committed to the American people, lies that were given uh, for control and domination. And now, yes, it's been four years since then, mm -hmm. but people lost their jobs. Yeah. People lost businesses. People lost. Uh, there was there was so much things that happened between the division of families and friends, and their need. This needs to come out. And, it, and, and we need to make it right. So I think one of the big things here is there was unnecessary pain and suffering, and it was based on lies and based on an evil that's agenda. It. And yeah. so that's one of the key things here is that, you know, it's fine. They're like, hey, you have to sacrifice. I mean, that's, that's part of the gospel too, is sacrifice for the greater good. And in this situation, as it's come out, it, you know, it wasn't for a greater good. It was for an evil agenda. It was for wrong. And you know, here's the other thing too. I understand there are there are hurts on the other side of this as well that are keep people keeping people in shame and in condemnation that doesn't necessarily need to keep them in shame and condemnation. And if they come to this the topic with whoever that they were wronged with or whoever they took arms up with and say, hey, you know what, I, I really like to kind of unpack this and can we do this together to bring healing? That would really bring some unity back to the world that uh, that has that has created much division. Yes, absolutely. And 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 you know there there needs to be this discussion because even the church, this was something that revealed a lot of holes mm -hmm. within the church and a lot of faulty foundation yeah. within the church and outside of the church. I yeah. mean, just in, in in the United States and around the world. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get into this video. Yeah. And I didn't know who this lady was. So so you you oh, explain yeah. to the audience. Uh, yeah, she's for people that were like she's me, a firecracker. Who is this lady? Yeah. So real quick and as well, like for for those watching, you know, we see you guys on here. We can see your comments. We can see your interactions. So let us know where you're coming in from. You can comment. We can we'll, we'll read your comments. We'll interact with them. We love that stuff, which is why we're going live. And and, uh, you know, that will help uh, enrich this conversation and hopefully bring some awareness. And I agree with you Re right before we get into this. As a Christian, we're called to forgive, right? Because the law, I think that everybody that went through the last few years, you know, you, hel you held on to things, you dealt with things. And at some point in time, hopefully you realize, you know what, this is kind of a waste of my time and energy. I'm going to move forward doing the right thing, you know, trying to do the good stuff in the world that I'm, I'm called to do. But, you know, yeah, I would like to go back and deal with these people that did me wrong or, you know, accuse me of things or, or called me names mm -hmm. and make peace with that. And like, you know, hey, let's get better together through that if we can. Otherwise, I'm going to keep moving, but it would be great to, to get an apology or to have that discussion. And, and, and I get it. You, you, you know, a lot of people made these, com these comments and they said these things, they did these things because they were scared and there was fear and they didn't want to lose things. But I think that as a Christian, I know for myself that I'm like, well, if things get terrible and they are as bad as they seem, then, and, and I have to go, or, you know, my family members go, at least we're getting upgraded, right? You know, <laughs> the death isn't, death isn't, death is the, you know, one of the greatest fears for people, but for a Christian, it's like, okay, when it's that time to go, 
then I get to go to heaven and it sounds pretty amazing. And you know, and, and, and that is true. But one of the things I, I, I don't like is how they demonized mm -hmm. Christians mm -hmm. and they divided Christians mm -hmm. that actually had faith yeah. in the Bible and, and, and said, Oh, the reason why we're going to come against you is because the science. Mm -hmm. And, and so, so that's, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we're going to get into this. Yeah, so Marjorie Taylor Greene, she is a firecracker. She's a big Trump supporter. She's a big uh, MAGA supporter from uh, Georgia. And she's a no hold bar. She's a controversial, tell it like it is, preacher. That, you know, that, that's, Congresswoman. That's what I love. Yep. That's what I love. And I, I'm actually su su very surprised you've never heard of her because you, you guys are cut from the same cloth. <laughs> and, you know, and, and this has been my, my, my vo point of view every time. I don't care if it hurts. Tell me the truth. Don't mm -hmm. lie to me. Mm -hmm. If I find out that you lied to me, I'll forgive you, but the trust that that we once had mm -hmm. is not there. Well, and and here's the thing: is like one of the key elements here is when you come together when there's been a hurt or a wound. Think about this in a relationship. I don't know, my friend who's been married as well. When you and your wife have come together over a wrong, and you guys unpack it in a healthy way, mm -hmm. and you apologize. Are you then stronger and is your relationship stronger and bonded more or is it more broken? Uh, it's stronger. Right. It becomes stronger. So yeah. this could be a great opportunity for for you and for your family members or for coworkers to to come together mm -hmm. and say, hey, we all went through this and what were you experiencing? What were you thinking? And we now know what's coming out as, as the truth. Yeah. And here are some things that I felt, you know, what were you feeling? I would like to try to bury the hatchet on some of this stuff. <laughs> Instead of saying... I told you so. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, you, you probably don't want to do that. Nah, I wouldn't go that way. Don't take the sword like that, but, you know. Hey, hey. That's going to happen. Let's slap your mama and, and make right. some biscuits and throw some gravy on it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we're going to play this, and let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Oh, Fauci, wait a minute. You were quoted. Did you do something to the audio here? The speed? Oh, I did. <laughs> okay. I was reviewing the videos earlier. Okay. How Jeff watches his YouTube videos. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Fauci, you were quoted on CBS Face the Nation saying it's easy to criticize, but they're really criticizing science because I represent science. Do you represent <laughs> science, Mr. Fauci? I am a scientist who uses the scientific method to gain information. Yes, and you said you represent science. Do you represent science, Mr. Fauci? Yes again, or no? It, yes or no? No, that's not a yes or no yes, answer. Yes, it's a yes or no. I don't think it is. Okay, well, we'll take that as a you don't know what you She represent. just finally oh, I, said what a lot of people are already thinking. You don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> okay. But this, as director of the NIH, you did sign off on these so-called scientific experiments. And as a dog lover, I want to tell you, this is disgusting and evil. Okay. I, I think he did know what he was doing, and it wasn't good. Go ahead. When she showed the pictures of the dogs, yeah. that, that, that hit me. Mm -hmm. How many people out there are dog lovers? I have a beautiful uh, golden doodle. She's, oh, she's, usually, she's, she's, usually, <laughs> she's usually in the studio. Yep. Uh, I have a, a special place in my heart for 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 mm -hmm. dogs and, yeah. and cats. You know, you, you need to repent and <laughs> <laughs> give your life to Jesus if you love cats. I'm just kidding. But when 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 it comes to animals like mm -hmm. that, you know, I understand mice, and you know, you have to do some type of experiment with with something that's alive. But when it comes to that's that's a dog. Yeah, that, that's a beautiful creature, and and that looks. I mean, that's terrible. It's yeah. terrible. I'm not a scientist. I don't know why you would use a dog over like another like a, a rat. Or a mouse. Not that it's a... I don't know. Yeah. So, anyways. I, I hear you. Well, um, um, Jess, we, we're us in there watching with my wife, and she's like, are you kidding me? Like, mm -hmm. that's this is terrible. Mm -hmm. You signed off on, and these experiments that happened to beagles paid for by the American taxpayer. And I want you to know Americans don't pay their taxes for animals to be tortured like this. So, the type of science that you are representing, Mr. Fauci is abhorrent and it needs to stop. Mr. Fauci, you also represent the type of science that you, where you confess that you made up the COVID rules, including I, I didn't hear six said. feet social made, distancing and masking of children. I never just, said I made anything up. You admitted that you made it up. You made it up as you went. I didn't say I made it up. So are you saying this is fake news, Mr. I Fauci? I didn't say I made anything up. 
What did you say? I said that it is not based in science. Whole, you know, okay. Oh, my gosh. How, how, Go many, how many times did we see it on the news? How many times did we hear people talk about the so, six feet? I don't know about you guys, but I remember going to the grocery store or trying and, there, to. and there was lines and you could stickers, only go one still way, there. stickers, yeah, the <laughs> airports. I mean, you're killing grandma if you don't get the ma if you don't wear your mask and don't get a sh you, the drive by birthdays. Oh, man. Based on the science, ladies and gentlemen, and we were demonized. We were demonized. OK, well, and, and you know, it's very frustrating especially when at least for us like you think about like our kids were really young and in school and they were asked to do these things and and it didn't make sense to me and of going <laughs> of course there we go uh fun with live um it didn't make sense to me like wait a second putting a mask on so you're breathing in your exhaust like your <laughs> breath like you know it's like you can live three weeks or so without food you can live uh three days i think without water how long can you live without breath? So breath is very important. And then, wait, I'm breathing in the stuff that I'm breathing out. This doesn't make sense. It's a breathing in your own exhaust. And, and being a, a health and health nerd and a biological nerd, it's like, this doesn't make sense to me. I don't think this is going to be the right thing to do. And for people to be doing this end on end and to be forced to do this and be like, oh, no, this is healthy. And mm -hmm. to be able to, to, like, you know, forced to wear these masks all day long. So you're breathing in your exhaust all day long. So you're essentially making yourself less healthy and decreasing your immune system, which is your best defense against any type of virus or bacteria. Well, the Lord or God is your best defense and your, then your immune system. So how can I, my focus was always, how can we build up the strongest immune system to combat this coronavirus, which is a cold virus, which being from the Midwest, oh, there's cold season. It happens every year. <laughs> what do I need to do? Well, I need to exercise. I need to get my sleep. I need to, you know, vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, all those things so that I can be as healthy as possible. So when a virus of the trillions of virus that do come against our body, my body can defeat it or at least defeat it as quickly as possible. Yeah. Well, and, and, and my wife being a nurse, yeah. uh, she, she knew from the beginning, she's like normal masks don't work mm -hmm. because if you needed a mask to protect you from some type of virus or, uh, uh, some kind of smoke or whatever kind of, whatever you're inhaling, it needs to be an N95. Yeah. And yep. And and the masks that were mass produced were not N95s. Yeah. I mean, uh, they they were just normal. And oh, go ahead. Well, and then the other thing. So I, again, I remember I did some research. I was I was watching. There was a guy who was talking. Who was a, who was a virologist who was talking about what? Oh, that's would, a five dollar word. Vi vi and be able to say it is another five dollars. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there you go. Super chat for saying virologist. Um, so he was like. If you're going to completely protect yourself from viruses, here's what you need to do, yeah. right? It's like the viruses get into your orifices, right? So you would need to protect your nose and mouth. It has to be almost air sealed. Oh, by the way, your eye, your eyes and your eye membranes, those need to be protected by goggles. So it's like, wait a second, wait a second. If you really want to do this the right way, because we, we all need to be scared of this thing, then why are you not recommending what these virologists recommend and just saying, oh, yeah, here's this, you know, wet blanket, you know, which literally people were doing, and this will keep you safe. And it's like, ah, this is not making complete sense no, and, for, no. and for hours on end for people. This is what didn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. I, this is just me. They said, if you didn't get the jab, you're killing grandma. Okay. Here's the thing. Th and this is with all vaccines. Mm -hmm. This is what I don't understand. Mm -hmm. If a child or an elderly person takes the vaccine aren't they technically yeah. taking something to protect them from the unvaccinated? Right. So how is this a war on the unvaccinated? If you got a, a shot, then you're okay. Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about everyone else. You just worry about yourself. And if you made that choice, that's your choice. But now you're okay. Doesn't matter if anybody else made it because you, you now have the quote unquote vaccine. Yeah. I, well, that's what didn't make sense to me. You know, it's another key thing was, as we know, when, when your body overcomes a virus, your body gets stronger, right? Your body learns how to battle this and, be, and you develop then immunity to this thing. So <laughs> yeah. therefore, and you can watch this in Survivor Island, when you get the immunity, then you're safe, right? So think about this. When we were all kids, 
And, and I, I heard this as I was during the beginning of this, this time of our, our short history here, they would have, they would have chicken pox parties. Some kid, oh, yeah. <laughs> someone's kid gets chicken pox. The moms would get together with the kids and have all the kids hang out because, mm-hmm. hey, let's get the chicken pox. Let's get it. Let's get through it, develop the immunity and move forward. Right. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, maybe this is the same thing. So I, in, in, all, in all honest opinion, when some, when I heard somebody got, you know, COVID, I was like, I'm as healthy as I've ever been because I'm home now. So I have extra time to exercise yeah, yeah. and maybe I should just go and try to get it and get through this. So get on the other side and now I have the immunity, which is going to be far better than some synthetic, you know, product that they're putting out there to say, and which is fine. Like, Hey, you have two options, right? You can go through it yourself or you can get this, you know, this thing that will help you to get through it. Okay, great. Take your, you know, pick your, pick your path and move forward. Yeah. And then, and then with me, I was, I was given the option of going to people's houses and praying for them. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Uh, I like that. That's even better. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and, and see what else is going on with Dr. Kevorkian. I mean, uh, Dr. <laughs> Fetchy here made anything up what did you say i said that it is not based in oh science God. and it just appeared but this he's saying he's saying it just appeared but look at how the look mask at how he mandates forced, well you know what in the beginning i recall and you guys can correct me if i'm wrong that he that in the beginning there was a back and forth on whether like initially it was like no 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 we don't need masks and then and, and then it was like oh no we do and it was like wait a second wait a second and he could have cleared this up he could have said hey and it's in the emails so <laughs> show that later what does dogs have to do with anything that we're talking these about are, today these are scientific experiments this is what you signed off on but you also told the american people they had to distance by 6 feet they had to wear masks mm-hmm. But let's also talk a little bit further about the type of science that you represent. So one of the very interesting things, if you really dug into what makes people healthy, and I understand this isn't something that people love to do. They want to sit in front of their Netflix and they want to eat their junk food and all this. And and that's fine. You know, that's your coping mechanism. But if you really dig into the things that make people healthy, one, clean air, two, exercise, right? Getting out in the sun, and then three, uh, good health, uh, or sorry, or, uh, good nutrition. Here's here's an interesting. Dang, those are all uh, everything that the um, na- average American is failing. <laughs> right. Well, and strange, they never talked about that in any of their recommendations. <laughs> just take this shot. Like, just take the easy pill, right? But here's the interesting thing. There was an experiment done, and it was with baby monkeys. Uh huh. And they did this experiment where they had baby monkeys in this. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is this is what I remember. In this controlled environment, and they had two mama monkeys that were on either side of the room one monkey was a it was a wire frame of the of the mama monkey but and it had milk right it was just wire frame of a mama monkey but it had milk so nutrition then the other monkey on the other side of the room was very soft very cuddling very you know very welcoming so it was very like the monkeys you would want to like lean on that and, and draw close to it but the other one had the nutrition yeah they found that these monkeys would go to the, the mom monkey to be comforted and they would do so to their death. So therefore touching and feeling that interaction, sense of, feeling that sense of warmth and closeness to another was more important than nutrition. Dang. And it was, and it's like, think about that, right? How much of oxytocin and dopamine, how much of those good chemicals feel when you hug somebody and you embrace them, right? That mm. closeness, right? That, that, that healing touch occurs right and, and and when isolation occurs like people get lonely they start to like you know yeah. they become less than versus coming together and get a hug and i know that when i struggle with a man cold there's nothing more that makes me feel better than <laughs> my wife coming in here and saying oh come here but do i get that no <laughs> what get over it jacob here's some soup here's some oils would you take some authority take some over- <laughs> vitamins and get yourself up <laughs> What nurse Jess is it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so let's go and see what else Continue. is happening with Dr. Kavork, K- Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Mr. Fauci. To Your you. mask. But let's also talk a little bit further about the type of science that you represent. NIH scientists made $710 million in royalties from drug, drug makers, a fact that's been hidden. Let's talk about the fact about is it right for scientists and doctors getting paid by the American people, government taxpayer paychecks to get patents, where they're paid 
millions and hundreds of millions of dollars in royalty fees, especially when the NIH and these government agencies, most powerful agencies in our country, are recommending medical uh, suggestions so and advice. who got the royalties? Um, I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't done the research, but I'm sure you could follow the money trail. Yeah, I just want to see what was on that sign. It said, so the NIH scientists, mm -hmm. those, so the scientists that were involved made $710 million in royalties, the mm -hmm. actual scientists, not the organization, not the... I'm sure there's a lot of people that got paid. Now, here's, here's an interesting fact that I will say that uh, praise God for putting me in the right place at the right time to hear the information. Uh -huh. uh, I used to work for a pharmaceutical company. And I used to do their, the pricing, right, uh -huh. which is always very interesting. And in a meeting that I had with the director of, of uh, product development, which is your, your pharmaceutical products, he was a very transparent, very cool guy. We used to work out together. And we sat down. He goes, he goes hey, he goes, do you know how, how long it takes to make one product? Because I was talking to him. I was like, why are these things so expensive? He's like, wait a second. Let's, let, me, let me step back real quick with you, son. And I was like, okay, great. And so I'm like, no, I have no idea like how long it takes to make you know one product. He goes, on average, we'll start with ten ideas, and if we are lucky, in ten years, <laughs> we will get one that will go to market. For all of the experiments and all the experimentation and trying to make sure that this is safe, this is healthy, then going through each of the three FDA approvals, which does so much anal analysis and testing and research, if we are lucky, of the 100 ideas that we come up with for a pharmaceutical product. In 10 years, we might have one that gets to market. And I was like, <laughs> whoa. I was like, that's amazing. So it was a little odd to me after, I mean, this guy had been in the game for a long time. He was telling me how this game worked. This was in 2016. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, wait, we have this new virus in 2020. And then suddenly, one year or 18 months later, we have a, we have a magical uh, shot. Now, here's the thing. It's not a vaccine. It was never approved as a vaccine it was a it was a what was it an, an emergency yeah. therapy or something like that yeah um so it, it it is not a official vaccine and it's like yeah i'm aware of how long it takes for these things to go through the, the official process to make sure that they're safe and the immune system and immunity aspect still seems like the better option than this risky item yeah. who knows what the long-term effects even are and then we were demonized for that <laughs> so. I was, yeah we were extremely criticizing in jobs were threatened and all that stuff million dollars in royalties from drug, drug makers, a fact that's been hidden. Let's talk about the fact about, is it right for scientists and doctors getting paid by the American people, government taxpayer paychecks to get patents, where they're paid millions and hundreds of millions of dollars in royalty fees, especially when the NIH and these government agencies, most powerful agencies in our country, are recommending medical uh, suggestions and advice and making up guidelines like six feet distancing and masking of children. Well, let's you let's take a second there. That wasn't just suggested. It was enforced. <laughs> that was that was just <laughs> practically the law. <laughs> oh my gosh! Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor, you're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. No, I don't need your answer. I want to talk about this right here. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chairman, Fauci, objection. I Mr. My All right, we're going to move forward because, yeah. and she just kind of talks back. about, um, what do you call it? No, they go, they go on, I but if you skip, yeah, skip past. Oh, actually, that was pretty good. And he belongs in General prison. Suspend. <laughs> the gentle lady should recognize the doctor. Part of legis <laughs> um, this is where they kind of tell her something about please tone it down <laughs> ca yeah ca call yeah. him call him doctor hey, doc i'll call him dr kevorkian that's his, <laughs> his new name <laughs> right, let's see <laughs> for crimes against humanity we're gonna find out first pitch at the washington nationals baseball game while americans were for okay so for that, that that's kind of upsetting member mm -hmm. First pitch at the Washington Nationals baseball game while Americans were forced to stay home and watch such events that they love from at home alone on their televisions. And what a hypocrisy this picture shows. Here you are without your mask, with empty seats everywhere. Remember the cardboard cutout fans? 
that was one of the most insulting things to Americans, having to watch the games from home where you got to go and enjoy the game and sit right next to people, not following the six feet of distancing, not wearing your mask, and everyone else was forced to stay home and stop enjoying life. And your science here, your science does displayed. So this is embarrassing. If I was, a, okay. <laughs> For those who are watching, do you guys see this? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can make this picture bigger. Um, that's embarrassing. Kid, kids in these, it, it's like the kid in the in the in the plastic bubble. And 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 this really happened. Mm -hmm. Like this was like this would be a joke. And and here's these kids in these little tents playing instruments at a school recital. So here here's the tough part. Uh huh. People's children are more important to them than themselves. Yeah. It's always already yeah. hard enough. I mean, think about the of the things that you had to do or you did during this time, which, you know, please go through the process of forgiving yourself for anything that you feel, you know, that you feel still sh ashamed about. Um, because I, I know that there are things that, you know, not wearing a mask and not wanting to comply to that and not feeling that it was necessary um, you know, for the spaces and places we were going and we're mm -hmm. not like going into the hospital or things like that. You know, it's, it was just like, you know, it's just like, Hey, we don't agree with this. It doesn't reconcile with what we believe in and mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. feel, but then to have to force your children to go do these things or for the kids think about that. It's like, I have to go and play and, and like, I, I don't, mm -hmm. maybe they didn't feel right, but they're being forced to do these things. Yeah. You know, that's even tougher. And, and, and what was interesting and not a lot of, press was covered on it, but how many young adults, young people mm -hmm. took their lives because yeah. of the isolation of the fear right. of, of, of the science of everything that was being exposed in the, in the media and things like what we're saying was literally suppressed shut yeah. down actual credible doctors who were coming out against the narrative yeah. where they, they were shutting them down yeah. and, and, and coming against and persecuting them. So, uh, one of the things my wife, she has battled and overcome uh, bipolar two depression and, and, and gone through depression or postpartum depression and become an advocate for that for mm -hmm. women. And when this all came out, like, Hey, everyone's going to stay home distance and all that. Her and I both looked at each other. We're like, the real pandemic that's going to come through with this is the mental health pandemic. And if that wasn't the truth, I think that there was way more, uh, oh, yeah. a, um, a, w a way more of an impact on mental health, especially amongst teenagers, uh, than anything else. than you know, any of the other repercussions of, of this, uh, you know, this illness. And, and I like what they're doing here because Anthony Fauci was the face of this, right? He was out there pushing this. Yeah. And I, mean, I call you it, had a choice. Yeah, you could have not pushed these things or not gone and taken up, taken up this stance, but he did. Yeah, perfectly in this picture, we're children, children in school. We're put in plastic bubbles because of your science, your repulsive, evil science. And let's go back to your very own email. You said earlier you don't use email. Oh, you do. Right here. This is your own email. Where you fit. said the typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really effective in keeping out virus. I do not recommend that you wear a mask. This is your email. This is your own word. Now, do you remember that being uh, yep. shared in the news? No, it wasn't shared <laughs> in the news. But I remember when it, it came out and it was like, you know, because I was, you know, very attuned. I think a lot of us were. And I remember seeing that. And then I was, I was like, okay, whew, you know, I'm like, because I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. Um based on the research that I've done. And then it flipped and it was like, come on. Yep. Yep. It's just, and as well as at, by that point in time, I was like, yeah, because it doesn't make sense, especially with, the, with what these virologists are saying is true viral protection. Yeah. Go ahead. But yet children, children all over America were forced to wear masks, healthy children forced to wear masks muzzled in their schools. And then they were forced. Unfortunately, it wasn't just the kids that were muzzled. It were it was uh, credible doctors. Mm -hmm. It was uh, people that were going against the narrative mm -hmm. um, on YouTube. On I mean, people were losing their channels. Yeah, people were getting kicked off of Facebook. Yeah. People were getting shut down 
for saying anything contrary to the machine. And and the thing that is kind of frustrating as well is that here are the precautions. If you're if you're concerned about your health, then here are the things that we recommend. Okay, great. But if you feel safe, then you should be able to go and live free. If you like, why did we have to cower to the weakest link? Yeah. Why do we have to, to bow, bow to the weakest link yeah. versus, hey, you know what? We'll bring all your food, all your TV stuff, all your work to you in your safe environment. You know, it's the same thing. It's like we don't tell people who are, have a low immune system or, or cancer risk in the hospital, hey, just go run out in the world. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, no, stay in the safe environment. We'll keep it, we'll keep it clean. We'll keep it as, as, as healthy as possible for you while you heal and restore. Not, yeah. you know, like, hey, the whole world's going to, you know, come to a screeching halt and scrub itself, you know, dry so that, you know, a few it, people. Well, what it was is it was a power grab. It, 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 turned it out was, to be. yeah. And, well, I, I don't think you, I think that's what it was from the beginning. I'm, you know, I mean, when you look I'm, now at the roots and you dig in, yeah, you yeah. Start to see what was really driving it. Forced to learn from home because of your so called science and your medical suggestions while you and all your cronies get paid from big pharma. You know that what this committee should be doing? We should be recommending you to be prosecuted. We should be writing a criminal referral because you should be cr- prosecuted for crimes against humanity. You belong in prison, Dr. Fauci. Mr. Chairman, I have another point of order. Uh, I recognize Ms. Dingle. I just want to make sure the record is clear. Yeah, I think that's where we we yeah. we end uh, her or her her statements. Um, pretty powerful statements, and uh, apparently other people on the board had some things to say. Mm-hmm. They just you know she they wanted her to address you know him yeah. as as doctor. Um, There's another congressman in there that that goes and fires away too. He did a great job also. Oh, okay. um, and so you know these things are are coming out, and people have been kind of preparing and are ready, and now. You know, it's time to, to, you know, come to the altar on this and, you know, have to, you know, deal with the repercussions and realize, you know, the truth of the matter. And, you know, there are there are transgressions. There are wrongdoings. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. and is it just, hey, this was the best information I had and I was making my you know, the best decision at the time or was there something else? And, and I think this is important for us to rehash. And the reason why is because if we don't know the past and we don't evaluate it, the past always repeats itself. Mm-hmm. And so, so, we, so we are prepared for what's coming. And, and the way that things are happening in the government, the things that are being revealed, the stuff that's, that's going on, I believe there is a lot of stuff going on under, the, under, uh, under secret yeah. and, and hidden for a long time, yeah. and now it's starting to get exposed. Yep. And it needs to. Yeah. It needs to get exposed. Come to light. Yeah. Come to the light. The truth always comes out. So. And uh, and and just like this, uh, what is it? A man faith over over the devil, devil. <laughs> the devil jabs. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and and you know, um, I think this is important. And I'm glad you guys are watching this video. This is something that was really important to us mm. to to share on. And I want to be doing some more lives when it comes to some of the things that are coming out. I, I just did an. Uh, I just watched the interview with uh, Trump Jr. Absolutely amazing. The first interview with uh, or the interview with Trump Jr. with Tucker Carlson, and then the first interview with Trump and uh, the three. Uh, host from the Fox News, mm-hmm. absolutely amazing uh, interview, and we we need this uncensored to come out so the American people. Well, the American people are seeing what's happening. Yeah, I mean, if you're not already indoctrinated and and complete, yeah. like there's people on the Democrat side, on the left side, saying, "Wait a minute, I don't agree with Trump. I don't like him. I would never vote for him." But this is wrong. Yeah, this is wrong. Yeah, and and we need to be able to say, you know what? Right is right, wrong is wrong, and something something's fishy here. Yeah, and if and if you if there are things where you're like, wow, I, I now that I know more or mm-hmm. I've learned or seen things unfold, I was wrong, and that's okay. Yeah, you know? there's power in admitting. You know, I was I was watching and, Patrick Big David, and they had Chris Cuomo mm-hmm. on there, and oh, yeah. they were trying to you know wring a, an apology out of him, yeah. and they were showing clips of stuff that he said, and he just wouldn't dance around. Yeah. And and uh, there there's nothing, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong in saying, hey, you look, when I said this, I'm it, this is what I thought, 
I've changed. And I've heard that from Tucker Carlson mm -hmm. many times. He said, you know, when I was a reporter 10 years ago, yeah. I thought things and said things that I don't take the same stance now. And, and I've, I've moved, I've, I've, uh, changed my position yep. and, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, grow, learn, uh, come together and uh, help each other get better. Yeah. If I was wrong, then I would say, Hey, you know what? I made a mistake. I was wrong. I shouldn't have did that, but I'm not. And so now I'm looking at you saying, I freaking told you so. That's the uh, unfiltered, uncensored, slap your mama, make some biscuits and throw some gravy on it, preacher. <laughs> well, I still love you. So guys, thank you for clicking on today's video. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. When we go live, we can see that and we can comment and we can talk with you guys or read your comments if it's appropriate for our show. Uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications, uh, and also support this channel by uh, the super thanks and the super chats uh, when we're live. Uh, and then also that little subscribe button. I know I've said it before, but that little subscribe button makes a great, uh, um, it's a great support for this channel. What's up, Alex? Thank, Thank you, you Alex. for putting the, you know, for, for joining us on this. So we're going to end today's broadcast. Yep. We love you. God loves you. And until next time, God bless.